Hello folks, Jason Crossman, Grazing Acres Farm. I want to take a minute this morning and uh, talk about hay feeders. I know, not too many people in the grazing world, grass-fed world, is a big believer in hay feeders. It's more about unrolling the bales. But just take this little word I'm about to give you and uh, put it in your back pocket. Because uh, I'm going to tell you about a hay feeder that is nothing but trouble if you have calves. Now if you only manage older cows, you're probably going to be alright. But in the cow-calf operation, this particular feeder that I'm going to show you is no good. And I'm going to explain why. So let's take a look at this feeder here. Um, this is the feeder I'm talking about. If you notice around the bottom, um, how those three bars wrap around the bottom, that's where the problem lies. And let me tell you why. If you have a cow-calf operation, or you just have young calves, what happens is calves are just notorious for going in and out of the feeder. And I've seen it many times, go to step through the feeder, and their leg gets caught between those bars at the bottom of the feeder. And they have to stand there for a minute and struggle to get their leg out. Well, about six weeks ago, those bars resulted in us or this calf, breaking his rear right leg. Yeah, it wasn't a good sight. I showed up to the farm, he's inside the feeder, and uh, I feed some bales, I go to move the feeder around a bale, and he hops up, trying to walk on what looks like his knee. I'm like, oh my goodness. So, what we did, um, we got some cotton wrap, we got some of that uh, athletic flex wrap and um, some PVC and some good old duct tape. What you're looking at here is a piece of PVC that's about four inches in diameter, about one foot long, and then I cut it in half long ways, basically giving me two pieces that were C-shaped. So we put the leg back together, nice and firmly, where the bones were touching, and then we took some cotton wrap wrap the whole area put flex wrap over that on top of that went the pvc and then we covered that with duct tape just because of all the rain we've been getting we didn't want uh the flex wrap or the cotton wrap to get weak and come off or the splint for that matter so this was about i'm gonna say four and a half weeks ago this guy broke his leg and it just so happens that right here is his mama and the one on the other side of him is a heifer that's turned a year old within the last few days and we didn't want her left in with the bull so this didn't happen um, here in our corral it actually happened way at the back of the farm just like things normally happen they never happen in the corral so it took a long time to get him up here and get these guys sorted out um, his little baby steps pretty much leapfrogging a little bit each day with uh, a bale of hay until we got here but about uh, a week ago um, the owner of this guy came down to the farm um, we got him down put a holder on him we took everything off and I'm glad to say that the bone did seem to be mending back together we took and put some new cotton wrap new flex wrap um, put the splint back on there um, try not to get the splint quite as tight as we did the first time, but that resulted in a little issue the following morning. Uh, I come up and the splint was down around his hoof, slowly sliding off. So I had to get my daughter to uh, help me, and we redid it once again, this time making the splint tight again. You just put it on there loose, it just doesn't want to stay. The problem with putting it on there tight is that some of the edges of the PVC do want to dig into the leg when he walks. You know, it's not a big fan of that, but at the same time, we need to fix the bone and then worry about the wound. So once the bone has mended up completely, we'll take all the wrapping, the splint off, and then we will uh, address those wounds. But for now, he's just going to have to tough it out for a little bit longer. Now, I don't know an exact date or how many weeks you should leave the splint on, but I'm thinking the longer you leave it on, the better. To take it off too soon, you just risk him breaking it again. Now, 
just having the three cattle in here mama's always pushing that heifer around so the heifer you know she wants to take it out on somebody who she take it out on she takes it out on him so i don't need her in here pushing him around with no splint on that's going to be uh, all downhill again at this point i feel like we're journeying back up the hill and kind of got a leg up on things if you understand what i mean there so anyway folks if you have a calf that gets a broken leg this is what i suggest you do and uh might take a couple different sizes of pvc to figure out which size you need for your application just remember cut it in half long ways wrap the leg really good plenty of cotton padding and flex wrap then put the splint on you can see the little guy's doing really well um, i'm going to overlap some video of of him walking here just to show how well he gets around very impressed with the little guy like i said after we got the splint on we walked him from all the way or i walked him all the way from back there all the way up here it was over an eighth of a mile walk and he did a great job sure we just did a little bit at a time i had to give him a bucket of water because he didn't move to the stock tanks like everybody else and i had to keep that water full every day but we made it so anyway folks just wanted to share um hopefully none of you ever experience a broken leg on a cow it's not a fun thing to deal with by any means just like any injury on the farm it's something you'd rather avoid but i hope you enjoyed the video and the insight i'm trying to share here and if so take a minute and subscribe make sure you click on that little bell so you can be notified when i release new videos another thing you could do is throw me a big thumbs up that'll help boost this video in the youtube search ranks and help anybody else that needs to follow through and see this video thanks folks for watching grazing acres farm He's a May calf. Pretty good size, little boy. One thing I'm very glad of is that he's very calm. He's been pretty easy to work on. Although he's he's learning real quick that when we come after him, he knows what's going to happen now. And he's not particularly a big fan of it, but he lets us do what we have to do. Mm -hmm.